We are running turbine testing exercise. We have turbine service unit, and this turbine service unit consists of reservoir, which is filled with distilled water. We have our pump, we have piping system, we also have load cell to measure forces, and on top of the reservoir, we have our reaction turbine. Turbine service unit is connected via interface unit to the computer. On this computer, we have a special software, which is also called turbine system software, and I just double click, we have a mimic diagram of the whole setup. We are using FM61 reaction turbine. The main icons on this software, as usual, we have file, we have edit, we have view, we have help button. The most important buttons are, first of all, this first one, which is view diagram. So this is our diagram of the whole experiment. The next one is our graphical representation of data. Next one is our spreadsheet, this green button, which is go button. When I press the go button, I will see one line of data recording in this spreadsheet. For first experiment, what I will do, I will put pump speed setting uh, speed to 100. It's going to be maximum flow rate. Then second experiment, pump speed will be 90% efficiency and means that the flow rate will be reduced. And next experiment will be 80% of efficiency. Force is measured by load cell. Also, inlet pressure is measured, there is pressure transducer, and also flow rate is measured. I start the pump. You see speed is going up now. It takes a little bit of time. As you can see, there is some delay for the flow to stabilize and turbine to achieve its maximum speed. As you can see, at the moment, my brake control is zero. As soon as I start applying brake, my force will, go in, will be going up. I will start recording the data. My speed is around 7,300 rotations per minute. I will start recording. My first line of data already recorded. You can see brake on turbine is zero, no any force applied, and this is my maximum speed achieved. I will start applying slowly brake on my turbine, and as soon as my speed goes down, my force will go up. Then I will start recording data again. You can see here that my force is around 0.08 newtons and my turbine speed is, is around 7,000 and my previous value was 7,257. Now I'm ready to record my next line of data and after that I will be gradually applying force on my turbine until the turbine is stopped completely. Now I have 12. You can see that turbine speed is again reduced. My previous value was 7,077. I record my next line of data. You can see here that the force is increasing from 0, then 0 0.1, 0 0.15, and then my turbine speed is reducing. I start applying brake control again, turbine speed is reduced again, and I record my data. And gradually applying my brake, I record the data until my turbine stops completely. You can see <coughs> turbine uh, rotates much slower and also force is much higher. Then I increase my brake on a turbine gradually increasing brake control by one or two and recording the data. You can hear that it will be stopping quite soon because my speed now is slightly over than 2,200. I'm increasing brake control by one. Press the go button, record. It will stop very soon and probably now it will stop. My speed is zero, maximum force is around 1.9, and you can see that brake was 38%, and this is for this particular pump speed setting. I will switch the pump off, that I can explain what we see on our data, and then I will do my second experiments, that it's not so noisy, I will switch it off. Now we have our uh, data, you can see that uh, speed was <coughs> around 7,200, slightly uh, 57, and then up to zero. Uh, force um, 
which are, when we apply brake on turbine is increasing from zero to almost to 1.8. And we have the 21 uh, lines of data recorded. Ideally, we want to have around 20. Here I can name my spreadsheet. This is 100% pump speed setting. Previous experiment was for maximum flow rate. This is how our data look like. I will need to choose secondary axis to display my torque. And instead of brake power, I will display efficiency of my turbine. I change graph uh, data, which I show. First of all, I move my torque to the left, and then I move my torque on the secondary axis to see them on different axes. You can see now uh, my torque, which is actually should linearly decrease for maximum speed, torque is zero. But then when we started applying force, uh, torque was increasing. Instead of brake power, I will display efficiency of turbine. I select this, move this. I don't want to see brake power. But what I want to see, I want to see efficiency of turbine. Not efficiency of the pump, but efficiency of the turbines. I display my efficiency, both efficiency and brake power. They are proportional to each other. The graph should be like a bell-shaped graph. You can see here that for a certain value of turbine speed, which is around 3,000 rotations per minute, we have our maximum efficiency of the turbine. I will start my second experiment. I will create a new spreadsheet. When I click this, I have second spreadsheet. I put my pump speed setting to 90%, and then I will be recording data starting from brake control to from zero up to the maximum brake control value until my turbine is stopped. It looks like that my maximum speed is around 6,000. First line of data. Uh, is recorded and this is for my second experiment. I do exactly the same what I did previously. I start applying brake. You can see now that my force is going up and my turbine speed is going down. Because my previous turbine speed was 6,000, just a slightly over 6,000. Press the go button and I record again until turbine stops. I gradually increase brake on turbine. I just check my previous value, 5,399. You can hear turbine is slowing down. When I increase brake, there is a few second delay until my speed is reduced. For example, now it's around 3,200. And when I put it to 26, you see there are a few seconds delay until it goes to 2,900. And probably now it will stop. Okay, just one more value to record. Yeah, it stopped. I will again switch it off that it's not so noisy. And then we will have a look at our graphical uh, representation of data. Now I have two spreadsheets. First experiment, I had 21 line of data. Here I had 23. Uh, first of all, I named this as 90%. This is my second experiment. My speed was around 6,000 and then zero. Force was much lower to stop the turbine. Here is around 1.5 Newton. On my previous experiment, 1.8. And here, obviously, you can see your speed of turbine is much faster because the flow rate was greater. We have a look how data look like. I will display efficiency of turbine for each of these experiments and also I will put torque value for each of these experiments on different axes. Graph. First I move torque back to the left to this secondary axis 
and this is torque for my second run. And here I would like to display instead of brake power, I would like to display efficiency. This is 100% efficiency for first experiment. And this was my second experiment, efficiency of turbine. And you can see here, our torque for both experiments is linearly uh, reducing with increasing speed. And we have for both experiments, we have bell shape uh, graph. And uh, you can see that uh, the maximum efficiency for second experiment, which was 90% pump speed setting, is slightly lower compared to our first experiment. What I will do now, I do our final experiment, which will be 80%, and then I will show you how we save the data, the, how we open this data in Excel format, pump speed setting to 80%. And I do exactly the same what I did before. I have to wait a couple of minutes until it reaches maximum. And then I start my experiment. I need to introduce a spreadsheet number three. So click on this button, a new spreadsheet. And now we have 190 and this will be our 80% experiment. For my first line of data, my force should be zero. I will start recording. Press the go button. And this is our first line of data recorded for our last experiment. And then I do exactly the same. I start with applying brake on my turbine. And record data until turbine stops. So you can hear turbine slows down. My last value was around 1,900. So I need to apply Brake control again. 1300. And probably will stop. Now. Now I switch it off that we can have a look at all data values. We have three spreadsheets. You can see nice trends. Speed goes from maximum to zero. Uh, force is increased from 0 to 1.3 in this case, 1.47 in this case, and uh, 1.8 in this case. And here you can see maximum 7,200, slightly more. Here it's uh, slightly more than 6,000, and here is just under 5,000. If I look at the data, display efficiency and torque on different axes, and then I will show you how to save the file. Then we will finish. This is our torque. And I want to have efficiency here instead of brake power. Efficiency also is like a bell-shaped graph. Efficiency increases with increase in speed of turbine, but then reaches maximum and then decreases. This is my data. You can see that torque lines are linearly torque decreasing. Instead of looking at efficiency, I will display brake power uh, because with brake power, it's easier to see. 190 and brake power run number three. Now we have a brake power 100 yellow, reaches maximum, goes down. Brake power 90% again goes up and goes down with increase in speed. And our final brake power is the blue line which is also like a bell shape. I will show you how to save the file and we will open this file in Excel. Save this turbine testing data and save. And just in case, I will also save this as Excel turbine testing data.
three spreadsheets, 100 first experiment, 90 and 80. You will have only this experimental data, which is shown in red, and then you will have to calculate all other parameters like turbine head, torque, power in, power out, and efficiency of turbine yourself using uh, formulas provided in the handout. Thank you very much.